So the game I'm playing today is called Universe Sandbox Squared. Now, before I go any further, yes, the reason I'm pronouncing it Universe Sandbox Squared is because, just like the Trackmania Squared games, the 2 in the title of this game is stylized as a superscript. So, because of that, I'm going to be pronouncing it Universe Sandbox Squared and not Universe Sandbox 2. So, deal with it, I don't know, but anyway. Um, so Universe Sandbox 2. Well, at first glance, it may seem like just another solar system simulator, and you would be right about that. However, Universe Sandbox Squared is different from a lot of solar system simulators in the sense that you can interact with the planets a lot more. Like, um, I believe it is possible to destroy the planets in this game. Like, uh, you can make other planets crash into each other, you can change the gravity of the sun, which causes, uh, the planets to, uh, get flung into space, essentially. Like, uh, go right off their orbits. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. I haven't messed around with it too much off-screen, though. Um, in fact, I haven't messed around with it at all off-screen. The only thing I really messed around with was the, uh, was the time step thing right here, which, uh, which controls the flow of time. Um, that's not the correct time, by the way. It's not 11 o'clock right now. It's much earlier in, uh, the day than that. It's only about, like, quarter to five right now, but... So, uh, yeah. It looked like a pretty cool game. So, uh, and you guys know me. I, I love space. I can, I can just talk about space, uh, all day if I wanted to, but, um... Yeah, so I decided to purchase it. Uh, this is... Yeah, this game is not free, by the way. Uh, this game cost me $28. But, uh... I, I think it was definitely worth my money, or I think it will be worth my money, because I haven't really tried playing it yet. But I think I will enjoy this. So anyway, you got our solar system right here. Uh, you have the planets, you got the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. And uh, I can zoom in a whole lot, holy jeez, that's... Wow, that is really bright. So... Yeah, let's try destroying some stuff then, I guess. Not really sure why there's no music playing right now, because there was music playing a while ago. And I, I really like the music in this game, though. The music's very relaxing. I really like it. Um, so can I go to Mercury? Yeah, Mercury, how you doing? Um, how do, how do I zoom in on you? Okay. I can right-click to do that. Wait a second, I can actually change its mass and its radius? And its temperature? Motion, materials, I can change what it's made out of? Wow, okay. Um, this is a lot more customizable than I thought it would be. Um, I want to try... Stop focusing on the sun here. Maybe I can double-click on it, it'll it'll go there. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm focusing on Mercury now. Okay, let's, let's see here. Oh my. Now you can also see the... Or Milky Way galaxy in the background. Oh, there's Pluto. Um, yeah, this is Mercury. This is really nice textures. This looks really nice. Yeah, again, the graphics. The graphics are a lot better than many solar system simulators I've seen. Um, so let's, let's try doing some stuff then. What is edit mode? Oh, I can, I can change its axis, it seems. Okay. Is that, is that gonna mess anything up on, on Mercury, though? Is that gonna, like, affect its temperature? Or... I'm not really sure. I can add a body as well. What are powers? Explode, force, pulse, fireworks? Material, launch, what are, what's fireworks? Um, okay. I can, I, I can, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to see what this will do because I don't really want to destroy Mercury right off the bat, but, click. Okay, no, it didn't do anything. Okay, I, I might have to click on Mercury then. No, it's not even doing anything right now. Okay, why is this not working? Um, okay, the fireworks are not working. Yeah, it's, it's not doing anything. I'm not really sure what I have to do in order for it to work. Uh, I can launch something at it, though. Uh, I can launch Earth at it! <laughs> um, well, Deimos. Deimos is a moon of Mars. I guess Deimos is not that large, so I guess I could try launching it at Mercury just to see what happens. Uh, boom. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Uh, wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Deimos is a very small moon, just so you know. 
See, its radius is only six kilometers. Um, is it is it even heading towards Mercury? Hang on a second. What is what do you, what is going on here? I can't tell if it's. I it doesn't even look like it's moving. What the heck? Uh, is there any way I can I can like move it towards Mercury? Galaxies, black holes. Oh no, it's moving towards Mercury, albeit very slowly. Um, wow, this is so exciting. Uh, what are these things right here? What are these yellow things around Mercury? Can I zoom in on this? Okay, this this is as far as I can zoom in. Um, what is that stuff? I'm not really sure. Um, okay, maybe I should try launching it closer. Let's, let's, let's try this again. Um, can I, is there something I can, like, can I change the, change the speed at which it's, oh yeah, here, launch velocity. Let me try increasing this. 10 kilometers a second, how about 100? Will 100 work? Let's, let's try this. Boom. There we go, there we go, there we go. I mean, that's not, that's probably not going to create a huge crater on Mercury, but it's something at least. All right. Demos is about to hit Mercury any second right now. And... And... Boom! Oh! Okay! Wow! Um, look at all the fire and destruction! Well... Um... I, d I didn't think it was gonna create that huge of an explosion. Look at that! Look at all the fire spreading across Mercury! <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen, but, uh, there's the other Deimos right there. I can even launch the sun at it. I don't know what that'll even do, but... Oh well. That's how Mercury got all these craters in the first place, wasn't it? It was caused by, like, asteroids crashing into Mercury. That's cool, though. That's really cool. It shows, like, uh, an explosion and a huge shockwave. Actually, no, I think the fire was was the shockwave. This is the actual fire right here. I think the other thing I saw was a shockwave. But that's cool, though. That is cool. Look at the fragments flying off into space. That is really cool. Wow. Alrighty, then. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this already. I don't know what's going on with Saturn. Saturn's kind of glitching out there in the background. Um, Wow. That is that is awesome. That is that is really neat. I wonder if I can create a larger explosion if I keep increasing the launch velocity because I think it also depends on how fast the object is is going when it uh, crashes into the planet. Like if it's going faster, doesn't it create a larger explosion because there's like more kinetic energy or something like that? I I'm not really sure, but I don't really know the the science behind it, but let's let's try launching this even faster. Boom. Alright, Demos, destroy it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to sound constipated there, but... Whoa! That created like an actual explosion that time. Look at that. Whoa, hang on a second. Look at that! Look at it rising up into the... Oh, it... I think it... Oh, wow. It's actually destroying, uh that part of Mercury right now. Look at that! It's a huge explosion. That's much larger than the other one. Oh, there's all the other fragments. Yeah. And there's the shockwave. There we go. There we go. So it does depend on how fast I'm, I'm launching it at. If I launch it at a higher speed, it creates a bigger explosion. And there's the other Demos right there, moving at only 10 kilometers per hour. I see. Alright. Well, I was right about that. More speed equals larger explosion. The explosion is still moving outwards as well. Wow. I think I, think I just tore a hole in, in Mercury. Wow. Um. That, that is, that is cool. I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it other than the fact that it, it's it's awesome. That's really that's really cool how how you can do that. See, and other other solar systems don't allow you to do this kind of stuff. I wish I wish they would. This is really neat. I like this so much. 
And I just started playing it as well. I'm already in love with this game. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. I can launch I can launch bowling balls, ba baseballs, basketballs, tennis balls, soccer balls, golf balls, pool balls, teapots, dice, jack o' lantern. The New Horizon spacecraft. Wait a second. I can actually launch all of this stuff at planets, pool balls. Wait a second. I want to see how this works. Let Let's try launching a pool ball. At Mercury and see what happens. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. Hang on. Po pool ball four. What? What? Boom. <laughs> I think it just bounced off of Mercury. Yeah, it. I don't think it even did anything. That didn't even do anything, yeah. Pool ball five? Yeah, I, th I think all it's doing is, is like bouncing off of Mercury's surface or something. Um, baseball, it has a... Bigger mass. What about a bowling ball? Yeah, it, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Um, Alright. Teapot? Nope. Dice? Dice is not going to do anything. Yeah. It just bounces off. What is a monolith? Human system object? What about a pumpkin? Boom. Nope. The pumpkin just probably disintegrated. Uh, probe. New Horizons? Um, oh jeez, what is going on with this now? Oh, wow. These lighting effects. Oh, there we go. That was the other Demos that just crashed in, that just crashed into Mercury. There's the remnants of the explosion. The other Demos just crashed into Mercury right here. Okay, let's go to this side. Um, uh, what about New Horizons? Launch a space probe at it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Monolith? That doesn't do anything. Third stage of Apollo 12. Nothing at all. Okay. Phantom Zone. I'm not really sure what all these objects even are. Play some golf on Mercury. It even launch galaxies at it, apparently. I don't know how that's even gonna work. Rings. Moons. Could launch Phobos at it. Uh, yeah, Phobos has a slightly larger mass, so this will probably result in an even bigger explosion. And, yep. It's so large that you actually hear the explosion. Okay, well, I just destroyed Mercury, or parts of it. So, uh, it's good. <laughs> it's real good. Alright, well, I'm done torturing Mercury for now. Earth is my next victim. My home planet is my next victim. Alrighty then. Let's let's go to Canada. Let's go near the, the place I live. Um, I am gonna change the time here if I can. Okay, hang on. Let me go for a uh, single frame. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so I can change this and put it higher if I want. Oh yeah. You can actually see Earth rotating. Okay, stop, stop, stop. stop. Alright, I just wanted to put part of, uh, or put put the place where I live specifically back in the, like in daylight. So that's where I live, right down there. Uh, well, you can't see my cursor, but my cursor's pointing over where I live, but I'm not recording it right now, so you can't see where I'm pointing, but, um, anyway. Let's see what we can do. Black holes! Um, I'm not gonna try the black holes out right now. I wanna launch something at it. The moon, um... Well, actually, no. I don't want to launch anything at it right now. What I'm, what I was trying to do was this. Yeah, right click. I can change the Earth's radius. What happens if I do that? Uh, show radius in a graph. Okay. Interesting. Um, I can lock this as well. Wait, I can change its density. If I unlock its density, if I change its density, what'll that do? Let me Let me try it. If I put its density higher, eight. Oh, that did that change its mass? Uh. Oh wait, no. Because it was still locked. Okay, but then it. Okay, hang on a second. What what exactly am I doing here? Oh, its density changes whenever I change its mass. Okay, let's make Earth really large then. 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's good. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Doesn't look like Earth's getting larger. Oh, there. Alright. Now we have a huge Earth right now. Earth is ginormous. Um... Wait, are parts of the... Parts of the land sinking into the ocean? What happened to Florida right here? Florida looks like it's completely flooded. Um, and am I... Is this bad? Am I doing a bad right now? I can't really tell if I am or not. I'm not sure if that's just a problem with the texture. Or the way the texture renders. I'm not really sure. Um... Okay... Yeah, it might just be a problem with the way the texture renders. Because it's not doing anything else. Um, 40,000 kilometers. It's good. It's good. Got a ginormous Earth right here. Um, what about changing its surface temperature? Oh. Oh, that is doing something. Oh. What did I do here? <laughs> There's snow all across the United States now. Um. Oh, God. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm destroying the planet. I'm causing Armageddon. Yeah, look, the, the polar ice caps. They're getting larger. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not good. Earth is going into another ice age. <laughs> oh wow. This is, this is so cool. This is so cool. Look at this. Keep, keep, keep it going. And there you go! Earth is now in another ice age. Oh wow, the ground's becoming whiter and whiter as well, it seems. Oh geez, everything's just getting covered in snow now. Wow. Um... Well, that's what happens. Earth is now a, a frozen wasteland. There you go, guys. I destroyed Earth. I probably just killed every single one of you. <laughs> I just killed all seven billion of you. By causing an ice age. You, you can you can thank me later. You can thank me in the afterlife. Um, what about what about this? I can change uh, Earth's composition, like materials. Oh. Oh. What the heck am I doing here? Um I think I just destroyed Earth's oceans. <laughs> I I think. I'm not really sure what I did actually. What did I do? Um well, Earth is just 100% silicate now. Okay, and then it just goes to... Oh, wow. This is, this is really cool, though. It really is. Um, iron... Okay, not really sure what that's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does, does it just get rid of the... Maybe it does get rid of, like, the ice in the oceans. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Why are there explosions? Why are there explosions? I see explosions right here. What's going on? What the heck? <laughs> Why are things exploding for no reason? What is what is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, can I just flood the earth? Yeah, I think I just flooded it. Um, how about I... How about I bring the surface temperature back to, like, uh, 15 and see what I did? Oh, yeah, there you go, guys. Earth is Earth is just made entirely out of water now. Can you what is this? Albedo? Will you get off my screen, please? Darn it. Load this back. Yeah, there we go. Earth is just made entirely out of water now. So er everyone just drowned. Oh wait, I can still kind of see South America here. What is with all the explosions though? What is this? I don't understand. Um all right. What about its years? What happens if I change its age? Does that does that even do anything at all? Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now. Unless it's changing surface below it. Tried changing this back. Turn everything into silicate. Oh yeah, I guess that does remove the water entirely. Okay. Well, there's snow everywhere now, and still the explosions, so we have no oceans, so that's, that's good.
What if I just put this to 100% iron? Uh, doesn't really do anything else. What about 100% hydrogen? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? What is, what is this? What is this, like, orange band right here? This brown band? Okay. Well, that's what happens. That's what Earth would look like if it were a gas giant, apparently. So, now, now you know. Oh, it just, it kind of, it kind of shrinks. Okay. Even if it was made out of a little bit of hydrogen, it would look like that? Oh, okay, I think I'm kind of glitching it now. I'm glitching it a little bit. Okay. Oh, what is this? Why is this all brown? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just destroying the Earth. Okay, you know what? I think I think I should ju I should just stop right now. Um, oh wait, greenhouse gases show atmosphere and clouds heat capacity of air. Jeez, this is so customizable. This is insane. All right. Well. I think I'm just gonna destroy the Earth. I'm gonna launch the moon at it, at a thousand kilometers per per second. Goodbye, Earth! Uh... Okay, the moon's going a lot slower than I thought it would be, but... Either way, goodbye, Earth! You're, you're all gonna die. Well, you guys probably all are dead by now, but... You're gonna be even more dead. Oh, there's the moon's shadow! Well, this would... this... this is just terrifying right here. Wow, it's like... It, it's like the entire continent of North America just went underwater. It just it just completely sank. Well, alright. Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. This is going a little bit slow. Um, yeah, here. Just make this, uh, explosion animate a lot faster. There we go. Wow. Well, okay then. You know what? 10,000 kilometers a second. I'm just gonna bombard the Earth with, with moons now. But, uh, before, before I do that, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to change this. I'm just gonna put this to 0% hydrogen. And... Okay, well there we go. Now it's, it's all... It's all frozen again. Good. Good. That's how we thought out. Wow, that's a huge crater. Okay. And now, we bombard the Earth with a whole bunch of moons at 10,000 kilometers per second. Goodbye! You're all dead! Forget all of you! <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Look at this! Look at this massive explosion right here. Boom! 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 <laughs> this is awesome. This is just so awesome. This is the most fun I've ever had in a solar system simulator. There we go. Just destroyed the Earth. Just annihilated. Nice. It's it's beautiful, guys. It's it's beautiful. I don't know what it is, but it's it's beautiful. Boom. This is like the shadow. But could you imagine that? Wouldn't that be kind of scary? The moon's just just coming right for you, and you can just see its shadow. That'd be the most terrifying thing. Alright, I'm gonna stop torturing Earth now. And, uh, what happened to Mercury? Hang on a sec. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. Why is, why is Mercury all, all glowing right here? Why does Mercury look like a star? What happened? What the heck is this? Whoa! What's with all, what's with all the, the rainbow fragments? What is this? Why is this all rainbow colored? Is, is that what the... Wait, is that what the fireworks thing is? I wonder? Is that is that what the fireworks thing was? Like... <laughs> why are they all, like, rainbow-colored? What is that? Jeez, Merc Mercury's just having a party. Look, that explosion still hasn't gone away. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't even know what's happening there. You can see all the fragments. What if I try crashing something into the sun? Will that even do anything at all? Actually, better yet, what if I change the sun's surface temperature? Uh, I, I can't put it any higher. Okay, I guess I can't change the sun's surface temperature. Uh, 
Well, can I lower it? No, it, it's not letting me do anything. Okay, fine then. Um, materials, just hydrogen. What if I change that? I can't change it? Oh. Oh, but what if I made the sun out of organic materials? Organic gas. That's still not really doing anything. What if I made it out of water? Plasma. Okay, that's still not doing anything. Silicate gas? Iron gas? Okay, then. Well, I don't know what kind of sun I just created, but... Okay, let me try, uh... Launching something into it. Get rid of this. I guess I could try launching Earth into it, but... It'd probably just absorb the Earth, wouldn't it? I don't know. Earth... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Earth is on fire. Earth is a flaming ball right now. Oh my. What is this? What is going on here? Okay. Yep. The Earth is getting scorched. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. Wait, is that still the... Oh. Oh, it does create an explosion on the sun. Okay. It's a pretty huge explosion. Okay. So, that's that's all it does. It, it just explodes. All right. Well, the real Earth is... Well, the real Earth is not safe. I was about to say the real Earth is safe, but no, it's it's not safe. And, uh... Mer Mercury, uh... It's having the time of its life right here. It's just having a party. Look at all these look at all these rainbow colored fragments. Like it's at a ray of goodness gracious. Okay, well that's that's cool then. How far out can I zoom here? Can I just leave this can I just leave my galaxy? Can I just leave? Am I am I allowed to to leave the Milky Way galaxy here? Not really sure if I can. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. Okay, I guess I can. Can I... Can I go over there? Can I... Can I... Can I go to... The... The center of the Milky Way? So I can... Oh! Hello! How you doing, Mercury? Okay. Why... Why exactly did it take me back to Mercury, though? Okay, it just takes me back if I zoom out too far. <laughs> okay, Mer... Yeah, Mercury... Mercury jump scare. It's fantastic. What is this? Orcus. Oh, this is like a... Oh, this is like a... I guess dwarf planet or something. I'm not really sure. What about just explode? Can I just make it explode? Oh, yeah. Boom. Annihilated. There you go. Orcus Core Remnant. Well... <laughs> that's what you can do. What about Pulse? I'm not even sure what this is. Whoa. Okay. I'm making some pulses, but I'm not sure how I'm doing that exactly. Oh, geez, the lag. The lag is real. Oh, it seems like we have uh, different simulations here. Uh, this is a galaxy collision simulation. All right. Oh, geez, they're, they're about to collide. Oh, there we go. It's getting sucked into that black hole here. Yeah, th this will eventually happen to our galaxy, by the way. The Andromeda galaxy will eventually crash into uh, the Milky Way galaxy. It's not like everything's gonna get destroyed, though. At least, I, I hope not. Those are almost like two black holes merging together, so I don't even know what that would be like. But, uh, yeah. This is basically what's gonna happen in about, uh... Three or four billion years from now. Andromeda will collide with the Milky Way, and... This will happen. Yeah, this happens over... This is happening over a time period of, like, tens of millions of years, though. It's happening really slowly. Um... Is there anything I can do here, though? That's still really cool. It's kind of lagging my uh, computer a little bit, though. My laptop, I mean. It's still really cool, though. All the gas is swirling around that black hole right here. Powers! Um, <laughs> you can just launch random stuff at it. Here, launch, launch Jupiter. Launch Jupiter at this. Whoa, hello. What did I just do? Wait, can I even? Can I launch anything here? Wait. Let me slow this down a little bit. Okay, can... Maybe I can't launch planets in this simulation. 
Ten? No, I guess I can't. It, it won't let me. I'm trying to launch a bunch of Jupiters at these two galaxies, but it's not, it's not letting me do anything. So... Alright. That's still pretty cool, though. What is this? Okay, I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, here we go. I'm on top of it. So this is Earth with many moons. Oh, God. <laughs> All the moons are crashing into each other. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is another uh, simulation. A uh, pre-made simulation. It's Earth with many moons, and apparently all the moons are crashing into each other. Are any of them actually crashing into Earth? Oh, God. Well, the fragments are crashing into Earth, but... <laughs> okay, then. That's cool, though. Oh, jeez, yeah. Well, this is not safe at all. Oh, yeah, part of the... Part of the Earth sank into the ocean, I think. Or does, at least that's what it looked like. Either that, or my, my eyes went all crazy there for a second. Pretty sure I'm not crazy, but I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I think one of them did crash into the Earth. Look at this. Whoa, what is going on here? Okay, yep. Well, that one crashed into the Earth for sure. Well, <laughs> there, there goes, uh, there goes Earth's oceans and just everything, everything on Earth. Oh, there's all the fragments as well. Yep. Well, that's that's what would happen if Earth had many moons. Just get completely destroyed. All the moons would crash into each other. And that'd be it. You're all you're all dead. Oh, this moon's name is Anaski? Anasi? It was just like an Was this like an actual moon? Cuz it has an actual name, so maybe it was. Maybe it is an actual moon in our solar system. That moon came really close to to Earth. Ritisk? Ritisk? Alicust? You mo how do, how do I even pronounce that name? Oh, Sestir. I think Sestir just got destroyed by another moon. Tonil Tonilva. Are all of these moons like real moons that exist in our solar system? Cuz it almost sounds like they're just made up, but I don't know. They they could be real. But uh I'm not too sure. Well alright then. Aaron is Poe. Yeah, I I have no clue. Why is that one just like glowing orange, Sester? Why is Sester just glowing orange? Oh jeez, I think it's coming right for Earth. And yep. I knew it, it came right for Earth. <laughs> okay. I guess one last thing I could do before I end this video off is uh Try, uh, placing a black hole. Oh, I can show more. Reverse all velocities, 2% all velocities, delete all dark matter. Uh... Okay, this is not what I want. I want... Force? No. Um... Was it launch? Did I just launch a black hole at it? Okay. Well, I don't want to launch a black hole at it, but... I will... Can I just place a black hole somewhere? Can I just put this at zero? Alright, let's see if I can destroy the solar system then. Sagittarius A, which is the black hole that is uh, at the center of our Milky Way. There we go! There's Sagittarius A. Um, is it is it too far away though? How far away is it? Oh wait, no, the sun is getting pulled in. Look, the sun's actually moving. It's moving towards the center. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. Well, the sun is about to die. It's about to die. It's getting closer. Uh, I guess I, I could speed this up a little bit. Here, just speed this up a little bit more. So that it moves faster. And it just explodes. Okay, then. I'm not sure if if that's how it works in in space. I don't know if, like, star gets sucked into a black hole, it just explodes, but everything's getting sucked into it. Look at that. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Earth is getting sucked in as well. Well, there's a huge explosion. I guess that's what happens, but... Uh, Mercury's going real fast. Mercury's approaching real fast. 
And it's dead. Is it dead? Yep, it exploded. That's not what would actually happen, though. It, would, it wouldn't explode, would it? I got sucked into a black hole? I don't know. Well, Earth is about to meet its demise. We're all about to die. We're getting sucked into a black hole. Um, but anyway... I think this is where I'm gonna leave this video here, so, that is Universe Sandbox Square. This is a, a really, uh, fun little game where you can, uh, just completely destroy the universe if you want, or completely destroy all the planets and just do whatever the heck you want in it, really. Um, yeah, I really like this. But, um, I'm done for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to make more videos of this game. Um, if I can find more things to do, then I guess I'll make more videos, but for now, I'm done. And, uh, I guess I'll just wait until Earth gets sucked into the black hole. It's coming pretty close. But, uh, anyway, if you want to purchase this game on Steam, the link is in the description. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Goodbye, Earth. <laughs> this game is so fun. Anyway, later, guys.